Hello, one of the questions I had recently in training related to how Rapsty talks with RTC or the Rapsty model man app application through the RTC Eclipse client and in particular how to set up that Eclipse client correctly. So in this video I'm just going to show you quickly how we can check whether our RTC client is set up correctly to talk to Rapsty. So just so we understand effectively if I have a, a model synchronized on a sandbox here um, and I choose to open that in my Rapsty instance, then I should be at the same time running the RTC Eclipse client. And it's the RTC Eclipse client that's effectively talking to the configuration management server and providing me with views such as my pending changes view or uh, work item views. And Rapsy talks to the RTC client. So when I open this model, we can see the status of the units in the model uh, from the icon that prefixes the element. So if I make a change, for example, and just save it, we'll see that the change or the status in Rapsy will change. And that's because Rapsy is talking to the Eclipse client to tell it that something is happening. And then it will refresh the Rapsy browser when I save the unit. So uh, let's just have a look. Effectively, I've got an RTC outgoing Eclipse change from that and in Rapsd, if I look at the unit, oh, here it is, we can see I've got a, an outgoing change icon. So it's doing this effectively through a port. So the first thing you can do when you want to check your installation is making sure that you've got the correct plugin installed. So if I look at the installation details, we can see that there's effectively a Rational Rapsd integration for Rational Team Concert plugin. And this is the 831 plugin, and that's installed from the Rapsdy installation. So effectively, if I've installed Rapsdy, I can go to Eclipse and install the plugin that's associated with that Rapsdy edition. And that's the thing that's talking to Rapsdy. So let's look at another view here. So one thing we can do, for example, is show a view called the error log, which we're not necessarily looking for errors we're actually looking for some information here and we can see that because that integration plugin is installed eclipse is talking to rapsy so in here we've successfully connected if rapsy is not running it will say i'm waiting on a port and rapsy talks to the rtc eclipse client for a port which does actually mean it decouples rapsy from the windows api calls that you might get with a standard like ms cci that reduces the dependency on 32 or 64 bit, for example. So it is connected and that's a good sign. And obviously if I, if I see that we can't connect in this error log, then that, that would be an indication of some issue preventing the Eclipse client from talking with Rapsd. Another thing we need to check relates to whether the RTC Eclipse client is listening to changes in the sandbox. So here's the sandbox files. And you can see that most of the model consists of these SPSX files, which represent packages, although we can have files that represent diagrams. So in our Eclipse workspace preferences, we should see effectively under Jazz Source Control, if I go to Local Changes, that the Automatically Detect Changes checkbox is set. So if it's not set, then the RTC client won't see the changes of the files, and you'd have to kind of get it to manually refresh. So having this set actually helps the integration fluidity work quite well. So we've checked that the port's communicating. We've checked that we're automatically detecting changes. And then the final thing is to just check that we are launching the Rapsd diff merge for the unit file extensions. So all these file extensions are extensions that Rapsd puts onto files that it expects the configuration management tool to manage. And in this instance, we're launching the diff merge of Rapsd to do both two-way and three-way merge. So that will enable us to double click in the RTC view to see the differences. So let's have a quick look here. Uh, here's a file. Actually, we, this is an interesting one. There are no changes because it was, well, let me do that again. There are no changes because that's uh, effectively a I didn't add anything. Uh, what I have done is make a graphical change only. 
So let me just view all diagrams here. You see that I move that element. So by default, we don't normally flag that as important, only the additional removal of things. So effectively, that file is the same. So check that the plugin is installed. Use the error log to check that you're communicating with Rhapsody, the right version. Check that you then have set your preferences, local changes to automatically detect changes. And then finally, check that your external compare tool is set up for the Rhapsody diff merge.